My name is Vince Tobin. I'm the uh, Vice President for Advanced Tilt Rotor Systems at Bell Helicopter. Uh, could you tell us about the Valor 280 Tilt Rotor aircraft, please? Yeah, the Valor is the next generation for, from, from Bell for, uh, for tilt rotors. Um, it's a uh, medium lift aircraft, and uh, we see it as uh, filling the medium lift assault role, as well as the tech role, and uh, medevac and others um, across the uh, U.S. military and for international customers as well. Um, we designed this uh, you know, as the next generation following on the heritage of the V-22. We've learned a lot from the V-22. We developed the V-22 back in the, uh, in the 1980s. It's got uh, 300,000 flight hours and it's performing outstandingly well. This is a little different aircraft. It's a, uh, it's a medium lift version. Um, we did a few things differently on this one um, for mission reasons. Um, in 1965, the U.S. Army made the decision that uh, for medium lift aircraft, troops would come out the side doors. So we've continued that. Um, unlike the B-22, we have side doors on this aircraft and not a ramp. What that necess necessitated was that we could no longer rotate the engines in the nacelles, um, because if you were to rotate the nacelles down in the helicopter mode, uh, the troops egressing the aircraft would, would potentially run into those engines, and, and of course we would obstruct fields of fire out of the aircraft. So it forced us to fix those engines, and that's kind of one of the differences with this aircraft and the B-22. It also made uh, uh, a side benefit of doing that means that uh, without rotating the engines, our maintenance and our support um, gets easier. It's, uh, it's easier to construct the aircraft, um, et cetera. So, um, you know, where we are today is we are uh, developing or building a demonstrator, I should say, in Amarillo, Texas. We're about 60% done. It looks uh, um, uh, amazingly like this mock up that you see behind me, only the one that we're building in Amarillo will actually fly, and it will fly in uh, September of 2017. Um, again, I said we're about 60% done. Uh, this past April, we, uh, we, we attached the nacelles to the wing. Um, in May, we put the wing onto the fuselage. Spirit built, built us uh, the fuselage. Uh, it's starting to look like an aircraft. And just last week, we, uh, we put the first of the two uh, tails on the back of the airplane. So uh, it's really coming along. What we'll be doing um, in November is uh, installing gearboxes and engines into that aircraft. We'll, uh, we'll actually do a ground run where we actually uh, hold the aircraft to the ground and, and, and put full power onto the aircraft. Uh, we call that a restrained ground run. We'll, we'll accomplish that in April of, of next year, and uh, that will all lead us to, uh, to, to uh, our first flight in uh, September of next year. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed.